There's been a lot of talk lately about our mail and worries about delayed prescriptions, late bills, undelivered packages, and of course, mail-in ballots. Tonight, the escalating battle over the U.S. Post Office. And the stakes are high, Savannah, with potential delivery delays. In Portland, Oregon, a postal employee says these sorting machines were in working condition before being decommissioned in the past two weeks. With so many people loudly voicing their frustration, we decided to test the system and track the mail. So for the past month, I've been sending letters to friends, family, and coworkers every week, 20 different people in all. The letters are sent from the same post office in Portland. Most were sent to people living in the Portland metro area, but I also mailed letters to others living all across the country. Every week, the recipients let me know when they arrived. Kyle, I got your letter. Overall, I found delivery was pretty consistent. Letters sent in town, meaning the Portland, Vancouver metro area, took about two to three days. Letters sent out of town, including the Midwest and East Coast, landed in mailboxes within four to five days. The only outlier was an address in the Portland suburb of Damascus, where a couple letters took almost a week to be delivered. But apparently, my coworker has experienced delays before. I've had packages put in the wrong mailbox. I've gotten other people's mail. It's not a new issue. It's improved, but it's not a new issue. After five weeks of testing, I found the mail to be reliable and generally consistent but our survey is clearly far from scientific, so we figured better go to the experts. Uh, Angelo the Anagnostopoulos is vice president of postal affairs survey. for Gray Hair Software. We track billions and billions of pieces of mail for all of the largest mailers in the world. According to Gray Hair data, first class mail is averaging 4.1 days to deliver. That's better than last year. We're actually getting slightly better performance. Keep in mind, there's less mail in the system because of the coronavirus pandemic. And there certainly are delays, like when postal workers are out sick with COVID or when natural disasters strike, like hurricanes or wildfires. But on average, those disruptions don't slow the postal network that much. Overall, um, the most impact that we're seeing is about a day to two days tops in delay of mail right now. The mail tracking data showed a brief slowdown late this summer after cost-cutting measures at the U.S. Postal Service like reductions in transportation and overtime. But things are back to normal after those operational changes were rescinded. I don't anticipate any large issues between now and the end of the year. With so much riding on reliable mail service, especially this fall, experts suggest any glitch could change public perception. So just know we're testing it. And so far, the mail is being delivered on time without major disruption.